Hi, welcome to the Innovation YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about what is a PO injector and what is a PO switch. And we're going to explore some differences between the PO injectors and the PO switchers. And although they're, you know, they're quite distinct products, but they share some common functionalities. And meanwhile, we're going to demonstrate to you how to use your PO injector and the PO switchers to connect to your PO devices. All right. So now let's start with the PO injector. And a PO injector usually feature in two ports. And the one connecting to the router, and usually by the LAN port. And the other, the PoE port, the linking to and connected to the devices like IP cameras. The power cord on the other side is required to convert AC to DC for the injector. And a PO injector is a standalone device, and that adds the PoE capability to a non-PoE network. It injects power into the Ethernet cable, allowing the connected devices to receive both data and power. And typically, a PoE injector is used when the existing network infrastructure needs to support PoE devices. And in upgrading to the entire network to the PoE switch, is not feasible or you know considering about the cost and the PO injectors are easily to install as they require minimum changes to your existing network and you simply connect the injector between the non-PoE switch and the PoE device and now we're going to demonstrate to you how to connect it to your PoE device to the PoE injector And let's talk about PoE switch. A PoE switch is a network switch that has built-in PoE functionality. It can provide power to connect to the PoE-enabled devices directly through the Ethernet cable and Ethernet ports. And PoE switches are a more integrated solution and are suitable for the network installations or the new installation or upgrades where PoE support is needed. And they come in various configurations. Usually we're considering the numbers of ports, PoE total power budget, and the PoE port budget, and network speed. And the PoE switches offers centralized power management and it can automatically detect and provide power to connect the PoE devices. And they are typically used in scenarios where multiple PoE devices need to be powered from a single switch. And now we're going to demonstrate how to connect your PoE device to the PoE switch. And overall, the choice between the PoE injector or the PoE switch, and that totally depends on the very specific needs. For the single device, a PoE injector might be efficient. And while the PoE switch is practical choice for you know, the scenarios with multiple devices, but high power PoE injectors still have their place in the very specialized applications. And if you found this information helpful, don't forget to subscribe. 
and feel free to post any questions in the comments in the section below. And see you next time.